These are the Terrans. They're flying their buildings in to set up their base, much as they would in the original StarCraft. Notice the command center here is holding five SCVs. This is a special new ability that allows the Terrans to rapidly expand or redeploy on the battlefield. You can see some buildings here that you may recognize. We've got our factory, which allows the Terrans to make a number of powerful vehicle units. We also have our barracks, which the Terrans use to create all of their infantry. You may notice there's some new add-ons attached to these barracks. The first of these add-ons is the Tech Lab. The Terrans use this to purchase high-tech upgrades. The Terrans also have a new add-on called the Reactor, which can be used to give an additional build queue to any building it's attached to. This effectively is doubling the production capacity of this barracks. This new add-on system also allows the Terrans to reconfigure their production on the battlefield. We can lift off this barracks and we can fly this factory into its place. You want a piece of me, boy? And once the factory lands, that factory will gain the benefits of that tech lab, enabling you to build a number of high-tech vehicles and purchase vehicle-related upgrades. Base defenses are still very important to the Terrans. We've got our bunkers, which of course will load up with our infantry. In addition, the Terrans have a new base defense. This is the sensor tower, which the Terrans can upgrade into a radar tower. The regular sensor tower detects enemy cloakers. But the radar tower allows Terran players to see enemy units moving in the fog of war. This is a powerful new ability that allows the Terrans to detect approaching enemy attackers and prepare for enemy ambushes. The Battlecruiser is back in StarCraft II. Battlecruisers can be upgraded to have their own special, unique mega weapon. Each battlecruiser is upgraded individually. A popular choice is the Yamato Cannon, which does significant damage to single enemy targets. Another powerful choice is the Plasma Array. This is an area effect attack against enemy ground forces. To deal with these battlecruisers, we'll need to bring in our Vikings. This is a new Terran tactical air fighter. It's armed with two powerful missiles that it can use to engage enemy capital ships. Viking can also deploy into an assault mode that allows it to move on the ground. You can imagine all the different ways that you can use this on the battlefield. Of course, you can use it to avoid incoming enemy aircraft fire, but you can also use a special assault mode to make devastating attacks on enemy bases. We're going to fly north now and look for our enemy base. And once we get into position, we're going to take our Vikings and we're going to transform them into their assault mode and continue the battle on the ground. Well, the Viking is a very flexible unit. It does have some drawbacks. It's very vulnerable to counterattack from a dedicated anti-ground unit like these siege tanks. That was simply too much firepower for our Vikings to survive and be forced to transform into our air mode and move away. To attack these siege tanks, we're going to bring in our new Terran gunship.